What up? So look, I'm in this house. It's a pretty cool house. You know, I found out it has brand new windows and the second story is brand new. Has brand new rugs. They need to be cleaned. They're disgusting. Um, there's hardwood floors underneath them. Um, the view is great. This was a little girl's room. But you can see out. I mean, I don't want to open that, but it's really nice. Second story, that's the well. There's people down there walking dogs. My girl. Closets. Closets are humongous. Look. I'm in the closet. Oh my gosh, I'm in the closet. Can you believe it? Okay, so the bottom line is, look, closets are humongous. I don't have electricity. Not, not to everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But... Okay, so anyways, that's all I got to say about that. Has really cool doors here. Look, check them out. Close that door. That room, which is going to be my studio, is really big. Okay, so all I'm telling you is, here's the kids' room, you know? You know, big closet again. Nice windows, you know? There was a leak. Look. Cows. For real. Chickens. There's cows, chickens. So, what happened was, and I'm here to tell you, what happened was is, brand new, second story, correct? Um, that brand new second story caused the depth under the ground of the house to sink. So, what I'm trying to say is, the house has sunk. I actually have to go underneath with pressure-treated wood and jack it up. It's a normal thing. It happens all the time. You lay a string across the floor. It's a wood house, okay? You just jack it up, embrace it in all the areas, and you just jack it up. Okay, so that's the bottom line. Two big, humongous bedrooms upstairs. One's going to be a master bedroom. One's going to be a studio, okay? We took all the rugs off these stairs, and I'm telling you, they're like cherry wood, um, there are hardwood floors. They're disgusting. There's a fireplace. It's, it's bad. And when the settling of the house caused the, basically the outsides, like that is a brick, uh, chimney and that brick chimney. Well, basically, you know, whatever we got that little area. They actually like, uh, I got my workstation because I'm working. It's really, I mean, it's kind of cool. Look, master lock here. Got my kitchen going, but the kitchen's coming out. So, got the two trucks in there, a little side by side. Needs to be clean, needs to be clean. And that's basically the first step. The first step is you got to clean everything. You clean the whole house, clean everything, spick and span. And I'm telling you, like, so you can eat off the floor. Clean. Then you take out the rotted stuff, repair it, tighten everything up, and paint it all. Okay? But before all that, and the brand new roof, and the brand new electricity, which this is my little, like a little garden area, you know, I got a little, two little carport, you know. It's just beautiful all around. I mean... I'm going to take you through the little journey, okay? There is a bathroom. It's bad. These people's floors were bad. So they put, like, linoleum and wood and everything and just kept building it up. And I'm ripping it all out to the point where it's back to... Uh, it's, this is going to be like a classic car. Like, I'm basically taking the hardwood floors and I'll sand them all down. Take all... I did hardwood floors. It's not a big deal. You go, I could even buy... I could even take an oak tree and cut it down and mill it and make it myself if I wanted to. I have oaks on the property, okay? So I'm just telling you who I am, okay? The French doors in the back, you know, and here's another little thing. These are old, rotted. They, they all, believe it or not, I swear on my life, start, you just, it's, you put wood glue and sawdust. You sand 
And wood glue, it's, a, it's an old wood carpenter's trick. And you use that as wood putty. That is wood putty. And then it stays the same color as the wood. Anyways, the French doors, because of the bowing on the inside of the house, that like it dips. It dips to the inside of the house. But look, check this. Here's the kitchen. It, it, it's bad. It's bad. I mean, it's all going to get ripped out. And these are, so I'm building a nice shed in the back. And these are all going to go in my shed. And that's going to be my work spot with all those cabinets. This is going to be cherry wood floor with a dining nook. Okay, if you can see it, this is a dining nook. Okay, kitchen nook, hardwood floors, modern kitchen. Okay, stainless steel, everything. Dining room. Look at the way they have it. Look at the way they painted it. Look, you tell me that's not like the cutest. It's cute. That ain't cute, but that's because the dormer that was put on, they put on a brand new second story. And because of that brand new second story, it caused the weight of a wooden house that was built on CBS in the mud to uh, and sink. So you go under there with pressure treated wood, you put jacks like a telephone dial all those places one two three four five six seven eight nine and you may go another run 10 11 12 13 14 15 you just jack all those things all at the same time one two three that's how you do it so the house will be level perfect then the roof is getting put on and in the meantime the electrical is being done i had to upgrade man had to upgrade. So because the electrical is bad, I have a laptop in a little studio right there. I'll be doing mixes for you and stuff. It's no big deal. I mean, Fireplace has this thing called the Fire Boss. I don't know if you can see it. It's like an old-timey wood stove. It's really cool. Okay, so anyways, so it has one room, electrical... Uh, Washer, dryer, hot water heater is under the stairs. Don't ask me why. Washer, dryer, hot water heater is going to be here. This room right here is a secondary like coat room and stuff like that, but it's big. It's like 10 by 10, maybe a little bit bigger. So anyways, that leads me to the hallway. The hallway. We have no electrical. So because this hallway, it has like all these rooms. Look, one door, two door, three door. And then down the hall, if you go into the darkness, you can actually go into the kitchen. It's like, ta-da, nice, right? Look at that. So, so they do that in these houses because as soon as you're in the kitchen, it's cold. How about that? When you close this, and by the way, Watch out for the people under the stairs. They're going to get you. They're going to get you. Brand new hot water heater. Brand new hot water heater. Brand new well. Which leads us to the bathroom. It's all built in. It's kind of cool. Put a new uh, commode in there. But the sink is atrocious. I had to deal with that sink right there for 20 years in my house because I was going to make it a rental. And that followed me to this house. I put a brand new one in that one and this one followed me here. I am telling you that is the same exact one except for this one's nicer. Okay. Anyways, you don't even want to see the shower because it has bad problems. So I just plastic the whole thing off. We take a plastic shower. Just plastic it all off. It goes right into, believe it or not, this tub, which is not even the greatest tub, is better than the tub that I had in my house when I sold it. I didn't have a tub. I had a shower that some guy made that nobody wanted to touch because it was all cement. And it was disgusting. Which leads to the little room. It's kind of nice. Great view. Look at that. 
they buried 220 in the ground about two inches. So I, and had it run into the house. Has nice cherry woods. This is all the cherry woods. Uh, TV ain't hung because there ain't no TV. You ain't got TV. So anyways, this room stays nice and warm. We're cleaning it and moving into that because we haven't moved in. We still live in the trailer. We are cleaning this house before we would live in it. It is a work zone. So, 35 degrees tonight in a trailer, non-insulation. So anyways, got a little bookshelf here. Oh, oh, I forgot to show you the best part of this house. I, I came to Carrie and I said, hey, you wanna see something? I said, look at this fan. Now understand we're ripping everything out of this house. Look at this fan. It's got leather. It's got leather. I have never seen a leather fan, so I... The fan has leather, and look, it's actually, it's got a little style and class too. Look, I don't know if you can see it. I know it looks disgusting, but Whatever, it's disgusting, it's pretty bad. But with some good cleaning and a hardwood expert, which is just realistically probably gonna cost about four to $5,000. And then you just estimate the cost of everything. Jacking up the house, realistically already looked at the boards and everything you need, it's, it's not even gonna cost $2,000. Then, Hardwood floors, five to seven. Let's say that's the, the 10 right there. 10, you have brand new hardwood floors, ba-bam. Eight for the roof, maybe some extra repairs, 10, okay? They've already given me that's made it's happening. And 10 for the electric. So that's 30, 30, and 30. And the house has brand new wood floors, brand new roof. The other 10 is gonna be woodwork and then if I do put another 10 into it, it's because we're making it, we're, we're, cut, we're doing the, the, everything on the outside Tuscan. It's the, the, the roof is already bought and it's black with black siding and it's, it's a metal roof. And that's the way it is around here. You get the black with black siding, you paint the outside of the house brown Tuscan with like green shutters and you do the Tuscan stone all around the whole thing in the chimney. It looks, it looks like a, a Tuscan villa. And basically, you know me, I plant trees. This is going to be a working orchard. I mean, when I tell you that this, this place, I have two and a half acres. And when I tell you that I have two and a half acres, not only do I have two and a half acres, have you ever walked two and a half acres? Have you ever seen what really two and a half acres is? Look, have you? I'm doing a video. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> People driving on my septic found out where the septic was. Two and a half acres is like all the way over there, all that, all over there all the way to that road, right there. All of that off the back, all those woods, and this thing, see see that? That's all gonna be black metal and metal roof. Black metal and metal roof. And here where the pump house is, I'm going to make a workshop. Well, you know, it's been fun, it's been great. It's, uh. A beautiful, beautiful 50 degrees. And it's going to be about 35 tonight. Good night. Hope I see you tomorrow.